Good day. Kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. We are now on the part 6 of measurement and today we will talk about measuring angle. So what is angle? Angle is formed by two rays intersecting at a point called the vertex of the angle. The two rays are called the sides of the angle. The amount of the opening of the two sides determines the measure of the angle. The unit of measure is degrees and the instrument used to measure the angle is a protractor. So we have here a given protractor. So as you can see, we have blue numbers and black numbers. The protractor has inner and outer scale. The inner scale is read in a counterclockwise direction, while the outer scale is read in a clockwise direction. So here, from 0 at the right, going to the number of 180 to the left, that is the inner scale, and we have to measure or draw an angle here in counterclockwise. While kapag naman simula sa kaliwa ng 0, Hanggang sa kanan na 180, iyon yung ating outer scale. So, we will measure or draw an angle in clockwise direction. So, we have here a given protractor with different letters or rays of an angle. So, the angle can be named using the letter assigned to the vertex. Ang vertex natin sa protractor na ito is yung letter A. However, if there are several angles with the same vertex, you use the three letters in, name, in naming the angle. So let's have an example. In the figure at the right, you can name several angles like angle BAC or CAB. So dito sa ating protractor, ang angle BAC ay pwede nating pangalanan ng C, A, B, tulad lang sila, pero dapat hindi magkakapalit o hindi magbabago ang position ng vertex, which is yung gitna ng dalawang rays or side. This symbol is read as angle. So, the measure of this angle is 45 degrees, reading the inner scale. So, the angle B, A, C has the measure of 45 degrees using the inner scale dahil dito tayo naglagay ng zero or ng first line or ray. So, since ang line na C or side na C ay nag sa pagitan ng 40 at 50, so that is 45 degrees. Make sure that one side of the angle lies on the zero line. So, kapag mag-drawing tayo ng angle, kailangan yung isang ray ay nakalinya sa zero. Kasi may mga protractor na meron pang space dito, so doon sila nag-draw ng line, so mali po iyon, kailangan... Yung ating initial side o yung ating unang ray ay nakalinya sa zero. Let us now have the three kinds of angle. So we have the given angle MAB. So let us draw an angle of MAB. Simula natin sa vertex na A papunta sa initial side which is yung line zero so that is AB. And then kailangan natin mag-draw ng isa pang line or ray papunta naman sa M, so that is AM. Okay, since the measure of angle MAB lies on the inner scale which is 20, therefore angle MAB has the measure of 20 degrees. This angle is an acute angle. Any angle that measures less than 90 degrees is an acute angle. Let us now proceed on the second kind of angle. So, we have the given angle DAB. So, again, simula natin ang pagdodraw ng angle doon sa zero line. So, line AB. And then, papunta naman sa D. So, simula sa A or line AD. Next, as you can see, we measured or we draw an angle which is nag-form ng letter L. So, nag siya sa exactong 90 degrees. So, angle DAB has the measure of 90 degrees. This angle is a right angle. Right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. Next, angle FAC. So, kung mapapansin nyo, wala yung letter B. 
So, dito tayo mag-focus sa outer scale since ito yung zero sa kaliwa. So, simulan natin sa line AF or FA. Next is yung ating letter C. So, since ito yung letter C natin, magdadraw tayo ng line simula sa A na vertex hanggang C. Again, since ang zero natin ay nasa outer scale or nasa kaliwa, ang gagamitin natin is yung outer scale numbers. And since naglay ang line AC or ray AC sa pagitan ng 130 at 140, therefore, angle FAC has the measure of 135 degrees. This angle is an obtuse angle, obtuse angle whose measure is more than 90 degrees. So, let's have the examples. Using the figure above, determine the measure and kind of angles of the following. Number 1, angle FAE. So, we have the given protractor. So, since ang given is, o ang isang letter is F, so gamitin natin yung AF and then AE. So, again, this is angle FAE or angle E. AF, pwede magkapalit ang posisyon ng E at F, wag lang yung vertex which is A. And then, as you can see, yung ating angle ay naglay sa 40. So, therefore, angle FAE is equal to 40 degrees. And since 40 is less than 90 degrees, it is an example of acute angle. Number 2, so burahin muna natin yung ating lines kanina. Number 2, angle BAE. So, BA or AB, and then, since uh, kung mapapansin nyo yung isang letter natin is yung B, so dito tayo uh, magdadraw ng, ng line. So, yung 0 ay nasa inner scale, so gamitin natin yung mga numbers ng inner scale. Okay, line AB or ray AB and AE. Naglay siya sa AE. So, using the inner scale, simula 0 ng kanan papunta dito. So, naglay ang angle BAE sa 140. So, therefore, angle BAE is equal to 140 degrees. And then, since 140 is greater than 90, it is an example of obtuse angle. So, burahin natin yung mga lines. Third example, angle BAN. AB, so, it, uh, gamitin ulit natin yung inner scale since ito yung 0. And then, AN. Naglay ang ating line or ray sa pagitan ng 60 at 70, therefore angle BAN is 65 degrees. And then since 65 is less than 90, therefore it is also an example of acute angle. Tandaan, kapag ang ginamit natin na zero ay nasa kanan, ang gagamitin natin ay ang inner scale. Kapag naman dito tumapat yung ating unang line, so, ang gagamitin naman natin ay yung outer scale. So, let us now summarize about the measuring angle. Angle is formed by two rays intersecting at a point called the vertex of the angle. The two rays are called the sides of the angle. It is measured using a protractor. The inner scale is read in a counterclockwise direction while the outer scale is read in a clockwise direction. There are three kinds of angles. First is acute angle whose measure is less than 90 degrees. Right angle has exactly 90 degrees. And obtuse angle measures more than 90 degrees. Sana ay may natutunan kayo tungkol sa measuring angle. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, Feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!